All right, let's turn uh, our attention to your money. Joining us now, market watcher David Barnson. Stocks not too far from record territory. We're at 26,200, I think 26.8 or thereabouts uh, was the, 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 uh, the yes. all-time closing high. Uh, the question is, of course, and we've been asking this yesterday and today and probably tomorrow, that we get some banks the most strong earnings season. Could that get us back up into that record territory, David? It, it certainly could, but it, if it does, it will not be because of the earnings results from Q1. It will be be the forward guidance and what companies are saying about their Q3s and Q4s. Right. It's going to be forward looking. It's interesting. I think the market could actually respond positively to if we indeed earnings contract a 1 or 2% versus Q1 last year because the market's now baked in about a 4% decline year over year. I find fascinating at the end, the last quarter of 2018, all doom and gloom. The markets uh, had a bad run in uh, that was going to translate into a weak first quarter. The comps from otherwise a strong 2018 going to be very hard. I feel like it was overdone a little bit. I don't think this first quarter has been as bad as was predicted. Yeah, no, I don't disagree, but I will say this. It's in slowing fairness, down. Some of the facts did change, right? I mean, the credit access in the economy mm. by nature of the Fed's sort of a about face changed the facts by which market actors are responding. I think that uh, the doom and gloom was overstated, but I really believe that you can't uh, emphasize enough what a big deal it is mm. that they went from tightening to essentially pausing on that balance sheet. Uh, and then now market actors can function knowing that that uh, Fed funds rate is staying put for a year. It's a big deal. Of course, you're a big fan of dividend growth. I know we're running uh, a little uh, tight here, but you've got a new book out. Does it drop today as the lingo today goes? Today is the release date, The case for dividend growth. Yes. What am I going to learn in that quickly, David? You're going to learn the multi-decade argument. We look at the last 10 years have been so strong and right. somewhat of an outlier. The 10 years before, a lost decade for equity investors. I think dividend growth represents a very stable, dependable way to be opportunistic and defensive. I make the full case, and uh, I can't wait to hear what you have to say. <laughs> I'll get going on it, David uh, Burns. Thank you so much, and thank you for the book, by the way. Yes, Appreciate sir. it.